Quizlet is an online study tool mostly based on flashcards and quiz style games. It helps the students to study by themselves and practice their subjects and master their subjects. It's, it's actually used for personal study, personal based study as well as the teacher can use it for engaging the students. And finally, it creates a fun based environment in the classroom and engaging them throughout. To create an account in Quizlet, you need to type quizlet.com in the address bar. In the home page of the website, there is an option login. Login with Google, type your email ID and password, you are in the website. Give your personal details like date of birth and your name of the class and login as a teacher. In the page, welcome to Quizlet, give your class name, enter the description for your class. I am just adding social science. Go down, you will get the option to type the school name where I am typing Shantaniketan Indian School. You can click from the option popping up. Then create your account. Create your class. Now we have created our class. You can share this class with your core teachers or you can add collaborators. We are using the free version of the Quizlet. And th there is home explanations and your library. We can see all our study sets which we created in our library. But here this is my new account. I don't have any sets created. I'm going to create a new sets. A new study set I'm going to create now. For this, uh, click create. You can give the title of the topic which you are, you are going to create the study set. I am going to create one study set for Qatar history. Type it there. Add the description. You can give the lesson name or anything which you want to be preferable. And you can add any number of uh, questions, sets into that. I have created a particular set of five questions in my Word file. I am just copying that questions and the answers to the um, uh, for creating the uh, set here. Answer is adding. Uh, this one actually we can add uh, any number of sets. Especially for languages we can add the new terms or new words which students needs to learn. All that we can add as a uh, flipping for flipping the lesson. This is a very good platform. Similarly, I have added all the five sets and uh, create. Now this is the flashcard which I have created. I can add this to the existing class which we have created before. I am just adding to my class. Now I will just show what are the features which you can use with the flashcards. On the left side you can see flashcard, learn, write, spell, test, match and gravity. We will see one by one. Flashcards you can turn, question and the answer will come that uh, the students can refer. Now we will go to learn, click the learn option, start learn. They will get the question, they can click the answer. Even they can listen to the question. Write, click the option, question will come or answer will come. They can type the question there. So type the happen. answer there. Next is spell. They need to type just what they hear. Next is a match game. That is a very interesting game. Uh, whatever you are matching, the correct match will disappear. And it's the based on uh, the winning is based on the time taken. So they will try to improve their time by matching the question with the answer. The mo most interesting game uh, in this is in the next one, which is gravity game get started you can select the level of the difficulty level like easy medium or hard let's start we use quizlet as an interactive digital tool it engages the students throughout the session it is a self-paced learning platform which helps the students to introspect themselves and provide an area of improvement it helps in developing collaborative skill it also helps in developing competitive spirits among these students as through Quizlet Online, they can have online games and have a light and healthy competition amongst themselves. 
Now let's check how to post our flashcards into Google Classroom. Open the flashcard, go down, you will get an arrow, click on that arrow, then you will get an option, share on Google Classroom. Click on that, then you will get the page where you need to choose your classroom. Then select an action where you can post it as an assignment or a material. Here I am posting it as a material. Go. The material, you will get the page where you need to type the title of the assignment and select the topic and then click on the post button. The most interesting feature of Quizlet is Quizlet Live. To play this, you select any of the sets you have created, click the option live, then you will get uh, to know where you have to go for individual or group based game. You can select the option then. Uh, another option will come. You have to choose either question or answer then or answer or the question. Select which one you choose. Then the uh, code for uh, students will be generated. Just share the code with the students and students can join the game with www.quizletlive.com. Just enter the key, type the names they are in. There is an option of QR code. They just scan the code. Uh, then uh, the same process will continue just type their names and that also helps them to be in when all the students join teacher can click start game then the game started and finally which student is taking less time to complete all the correct answers will be the winner and the teacher screen you can see all the scoreboards of all the students